<laughs> I mean, I say yes, and now we're sitting here waiting, 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 waiting. <laughs> the, the timer's, it's moving in like 10 minute increments. <laughs> Alright, so we came out of that one not too bad off. And there's still a uh, Kevlar in there somewhere. Get another bandage slapped on. A lot of ignoring going on. So, wish the Kevlar guy had show. Oh, Shocker Brute. Shocker Brute. He came upstairs. Hey, buddy. So that second floor had the shocker brute, which was the primary problem. Now it's still got the uh, one other little shocker guy. So we guaranteed take a hit from him. He hasn't come back up yet. All right, I want to finish exploring that other section first. We haven't even made it underground yet. It's taking forever. <laughs> really wish. The brute had come out of that section there. No. My fact, MRE and junk I don't care about. We'll take that. Yeah, I'm a little unhappy because that means the Kevlar brood is still sitting down here. Speed of 86, huh? Still in moderate pain. All right, we got to take care of that pain before I do anything else. Let's take something a little heavier. Let's do uh, Oxy. Let's do Oxy. Oh, God. If I wait... Urgh. It's going to take me forever to just wait. Minimal pain. Down five. All right. Yeah, let's leave that open. Careful not to step around that corner. <laughs> I'm going to accidentally do it one of these times and get shot. All right, we got to pull this guy out of here. Oh, God damn it. That is exactly the wrong spot. Because now, if I don't still have enough movement points, I'm going to step north. He's going to super punch me right into the wall. He slams into your left arm. He didn't super punch me. Oh, one of these. I hate these so much. I hate these so much. It's one of these situations where he's tied to this room for whatever reason. We've seen this so many times in labs. I have to step down here, so I basically have to go into point-blank melee in order to kill him because of the, his insistence on staying in this room. He will not come out and follow me. He keeps stepping back in. That is so annoying. Pretty sure not even a grenade is going to take that guy out. It's going to take a bunch of bullets to do it. Damn it. 
I suspect I just need to get like right here. Just given the geometry of things, I suspect there's like a staircase in the middle here. If it uh, mirror images the sides. Eh, it's not quite a mirror image. But somewhere in this area, there's got to be stairs. So I think I'm super close, but this is going to be so painful. Yeah, I'm going to get my ass punched right into the wall. He won't. Come on. Come on in. Come on. Damn it. He's <laughs> just not going to do it. I think it might be the proximity of the turret right here. He somehow senses the turret there, so he keeps setting back to the turret position. Uh, four pounds overweight, because I'm... No, my strength is fine. What am I carrying all of a sudden? I know I put the hat on. Oh, my golf bag finally took damage. Look at that. I was talking about it earlier. We almost went an entire challenge without my, my golf bag taking any damage. Carrying the mining hat, that's not helping. What to do here? He's gonna spot me every time I step into this position. Unless I can convince him to come north. So I got him to that point. Now I need to not be low stamina. I need to be able to run to get to the vehicle. Good lord, this is processing so slow. There's still the danger here. He could open the door, or he could step and super punch me into the wall. Run mode. Come on, you. Come on. Either way is fine. It's less points to go over the counter. <laughs> it's taking so long. Oh, man. I can't imagine the nightmare of stuff that's underground. If it's processing this slowly, and I've cleared the parking lot, I've cleared the warehouse, there's not going to be anything in here but maybe a few last security guards and stuff. So I just can't imagine what's going on underground if it's processing this slowly. This is the worst I've ever seen for processing time. All right, let's see if we've got an open route here. God damn it, I keep, keep running myself down on my stamina. Nah, grenade's not going to do much against that kind of guy. His armor resistance is so high, the grenade fragments wouldn't do much. And in order to get the grenade in there, I would have had to have actually literally stepped into the room. Another yellow zone card reader. Ah. So there was a turret here. Oh, I don't think it'll be around this corner. Hey, Boomer. Yep, you can peek through. <clears throat> but um, the blast radius will still hit you even when you've got walls between you and the uh, the blast location. Magic fragments. They go rebounding uh, all over the place. I got Boomered, and I don't know what else is coming. Security guard. Um. I'm gonna bleed out if I just leave him alone. So, we'll just leave him alone.
Well, you guys can use explosives however you want. I've just demonstrated on camera too many occasions where I've been driving along and I've had a zombie step on a landmine like 40 spaces away and I took head damage from a piece of shrapnel. Uh, grenades landing at my feet constantly when I try to throw them, which doesn't happen as much when you've got a couple points of throwing skill, but uh, can still happen. Um, I just don't trust explosives. God damn it. <laughs> uh, am I going to be able to do this quick enough? Well, oh, now he's doing the I'm going to stand here. More eye drops. <laughs> I gotta stop running everywhere. It's the processing time that's killing me. <laughs> Please tell me we're about done with these areas. A cranial flashlight CBM. Look at that. Pretty fancy. Visitor's Pass. And we'll grab it for whatever good it'll do me. Alright, so... Expecting another turret. Alright, so so far we've seen turret, turret, and we got a glimpse of a turret, I think, here. I think it was right through that angle. I think there was a turret here, so there's likely one here as well. So just inside each of these two doorway access points. that lead to this. Yeah, this has got to be the underground access. Got to be. So, I just need to bring the torch in because it's not letting me use my yellow card readers. My yellow cards. I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or I've got... Uh, the cards are weirdly labeled or something, but... <laughs> We're going to have to uh, torch our way in. Let's see. Get the door down first. What a surprise! We have stairs. Got to find four more pounds to get rid of. I think it's going to be the crowbar. I can make do with uh, improvised blunt weapons. Not overly worried about looting chests and stuff. That's still only going to get me down to 65. Ah, we're just carrying a lot of heavy stuff. Good old plate armor. Yeah, let's keep it. Well, I don't have a lanyard. I haven't seen a lanyard. I 
don't remember seeing any lanyards anywhere. We got the we got the cards. But I haven't seen a single lanyard anywhere. thought I'd find lanyards somewhere back in these areas but uh, I haven't seen one yet all right peak broken stuff that doesn't bode well peak security guard security guard security guard none of them are the gun wielding ones Magenta, <laughs> yellow, and yellow. If anybody had lanyards, you'd think it'd be these guys. Let's switch to Katana and wear that. I'm going to leave the golf bag up here for the moment. Here I am. Come get me. See no lanyard. My light emitting device upstairs. nothing <laughs> so we're back to having to uh, cut our way through every damn thing because I can't get the yellow cards to work There are different types of cards and additions to colors. That probably, probably answers it. So it's a yellow zone badge, employee badge for a maintenance worker. Reverse side describes protocol for using it. Good grant access to yellow zone card readers. But yellow zone card reader. I mean, that sure seems like <laughs> that's where it should work. But I mean, I am in a security zone, not in a maintenance area, but that's that's hella confusing if uh if, if that's not the right one i mean it says specifically yellow zone card reader Well, I've, I'm carrying every single one I've found so far after all that looking around, so. <laughs> um, let's either bring the torch down again, start using this as my staging point. Hmm. 
You know what's in here. Shock zombie. Shock zombie down that one. Some acid down that one. Hey there, Atomic Ant. I think I might have missed one or two others that have been uh, resubbing. Thank you very much, everybody. I'll use this spot as my uh, my staging An spot. An awesome and deadly half year. Keep it going. <laughs> Either wasn't a ditch. I will definitely do so. All right, let's uh, leave a few grenades. Leave the welding tank. Which one do we want to try first? Uh, do I keep going for yellow? Or go straight for the magenta. Let's go for the magenta to the north. There's some stairs. How many turrets between me and those stairs? Looks like a barracks. <laughs> Still no items. Door's locked, huh? Another super puncher. Damn it. Too many super punchers. We got metal for everything. Nope, still concrete for the walls. Hmm. I have a katana versus a Kevlar brute. That is a terrible matchup. Terrible, terrible, terrible matchup. Gonna follow me. That's not one of those really tough ones to go point blank on. Choo choo. <laughs> the, the train, the train. <laughs> Limited time to earn exclusive emotes. Let's back a little further away. <laughs> uh, well, well executed. <laughs> Pump it up into that next hype level. Uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of that. I'm wondering, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, pop this southern one as well. I do actually have a limited amount of opportunities to do this kind of thing. I am going to run out at some point. Locked and locked. I need to be checking wallets. I guess I should be checking wallets, huh? Hmm. 
No. Nope. Nothing interesting in the wallets. All right, now we got those two down. Let's ditch the torch. I'm gonna ditch the light amp goggles too. I'm not using them much. They do have their tactical uses, but still sitting at 69. Oh, what else did I pick up? Oh, I still got the grenades. That would do it. 66, just over. Yeah, let's leave the crowbar too. What do we got down this hole? <laughs> Full auto. Fire. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Didn't kill him. Fire again. More magenta. You're gonna link up in the middle. Really need to get a hold of some, uh, some other cards. <laughs> so down and down, huh? Excuse me. Lab security zone, closed metal door. I can't get through there. Huh. Wasn't that interesting? And again, closed. It's like a stairwell that I can't can't get out into any of the other areas. We still haven't hit the bottom. Where are we? Neg five. Somebody's breaking stuff. Whoops! Whoops! <laughs> Flashbang hack! Skitterbot! Oh crap. Oh crap. The light, the lighting is doesn't seem to be working too well. <laughs> I know it's in my backpack, but why is it all lit here but not here? Because I suspect somebody, somebody just tossed a flashbang hack at me that I can't see. Something seems broke. Let's put a, uh, let's put a quick save in here. Something seems broke. Yeah, that was pretty wonky. That is the proper way of dealing with those things, by the way. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I should have been able to see this area. Something's something's really weird with the lighting. Because the grenade hack had to have come from like one of the security robot drones or something along that line. They're hidden in the walls that despawn as a trap. Hmm. Read the log. Let's read the log. Lights up menacingly. I don't know. I mean, I lopped off the limbs. I don't see anything in the log other than a barking noise. Flashbang itself isn't all that dangerous, just depending on what else is near you. So, I mean, I wasn't going to die from that, but it would have made it a little more difficult to fight or deal with the, uh, the other thing. Hey, something I can handle. And, on, and a ramp? Interesting. Oh, 
Whoops. A lot of off, please. What am I looking at? Metal grates. Broken black security drone. Oh, crap. These guys are going to get worse. Bet you they're going to start carrying guns or tasers or something. Uh, broken card reader. Lab cargo zone. Hmm. And we are down there a ways. Well, what happens? This is going to be a bad idea. Goes nowhere, huh? <laughs> it's taken so long. So, solid rock to my south. Uh, it's going to put me on the other side of that reader. Which probably is a bad thing. Yep, it's a bad thing. Oh crap. Uh, the problem here is I have to... There we go. Do they not get to use ramps? I'm trying to remember if I've seen bad guys... They have to. They just chose not to. Yeah, we, we 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 saw them use them earlier with the uh, the brute and a few others. So, uh, let's just slap them. Hmm. All right, so check back the other way while we got the option. Great. Love these tiny little corridors and rooms where I step into a shocker brute. <laughs> or, you know, a disluted devourer. Beautiful springtime. Well, that's fun. It's a martial arts manual. Whoops. Uh, that does not look good. Melded Task Force. That's not what I thought was over there. That's not what I thought it was. A tangle of security personnel fused with their gear and each other. Warped limbs and flesh-covered equipment moving in strange unison. Every so often you glimpse a pitch-black figure at its center, limbs mirroring the movements of something or other. Yeah, I thought it was just a dissolute devourer. Now I got it and I've got the flesh raptor to deal with. Yeah, all right. We're going to leave beautiful springtime. Flesh raptor is going to nibble on me a bit. I thought Flesh Raptor was going to nibble on me a bit. Um, this is ugly. I have no idea how dangerous this thing is. A regular Dissolute Devourer, I'd have no problem. I'd just either pour bullets into it or uh, chop it up with a katana. And I wouldn't take much damage. But this thing, I am not familiar with. Hmm. The bright red indicator for his name is a big clue. <laughs> Can he open doors? That's the real question. That's what everybody really wants to know. Is this a door opening bad guy? So it is slower than me. Problem would be maneuvering. Take shots. 
Back off, take shots, keep backing off. I wonder if I stand on the other side of the ramp, if he would go down the ramp trying to get to me. Not that I would want that. Mostly I would want him to approach me, and then I would run around him and then walk back the other direction. So far I haven't seen any sign of a uh, ranged attack. If he has a huge amount of regen, I'm not sure I can put enough damage on him. Not with an M4. Hmm. I also don't know if he's got special attacks like the Super Punch. Well, this is not really a combat centric character, so we knew this was going to be rough coming in. I've really, the only thing I got going for me is you know, guns, <laughs> the M4 and lots of ammo, and then a uh, very light amount of skills. I could try to pull him down into this room, circle him, and then close the door if he's not able to open it. Then I could return and uh, check these office area. Let's put a shot into him first. I'm assuming you can't see his hit points just like a dissolute devourer. But six hole damage with a good hit. <laughs> okay. Oof, he's not much lower than me. Holy crap. I was sprinting there and he was kept keeping up with me. I need to know if he's a door opening fool. Whoa! Once again he surprised me. Whoa, what the hell's that? A handful of flesh wriggles loose from the mass. Oh, he's generating the uh, uh, the flying things. Well, that's good to know. Hmm. All right, it's come to me. Oh, you bastard, that flesh raptor. You asshole flesh raptor. <laughs> that's where I was going to step. All right, I need to get to the door without getting super punched. This is where we find out if he's a door opening bad guy. Yep, he's a door opening bad guy. All right, up, up, <laughs> up. Let's see, I gotta rethink this. So he spawns flesh raptors, he opens doors, he's probably got the regen of a dissolute. I'm going to I'm going to suspect and hope that he does not have super punch because if he has that as well, oh my gosh. Hmm. Hmm. Let's get our breath back. <clears throat> I hope that was some other door. What to do, what to do. So we wandered our way into a boss mob. I don't... I can't think of too many options I have in my vehicle that's going to make much of a difference here. So, <laughs> a grenade launcher with no launcher skill. <clears throat> that would pretty much guaranteed get me killed. Shotgun. Um, does decent damage. But I think burst fire from the rifle is going to be equivalent. That's pretty much my choices without my, my RivTech gun that pulled a disappearing act. C4. 
Maybe C4 will take care of him. Oh, the RDX charge. There you go. <laughs> we have a solution to the problem. <laughs> how far can I run and how much of the uh, lower level will it wreck <laughs> when I pop off a, an RDX charge down in that place? I'm afraid it would wreck too much of the area and I wouldn't be able to move or anything else. Yeah, I don't really have much else. Those are my choices, really. So, short of playing with heavy explosives, I think we just got to go down and see what we can do. Fire some bullets at him. The flesh raptors are going to be the annoying part while we try to take him down. Mm, yeah, I doubt a grenade will do it. And protecting myself from the grenade is going to be a problematic as well. Yeah, not the best character for this kind of a place, but uh, we're, 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 we've at least made it to some of the lower areas. I'm, I'm happy with that. We got the almost the entire top area done. And my only beef so far is the confusion regarding the colored doors and security cards. Um, but I think this is an open hallway through here. Turret, turret, so I'm not worried about this. Don't know if this would be stairs or something else. But, uh, yeah. I mean, we got the top area figured out. We got the start of the lower section. I don't know how deep that goes, though. I, was, I still had options to go down. Was I at the bottom with that? I think... I can't remember now. Did I have another stare down option there? Uh, we'll take one more grenade, you know, just cause I've got what? Two full reloads and two magazines pretty much. Can't kill them with that. It ain't gonna happen anyway. I forget what level I was on. That one? Nope. Wait. It was this one. <laughs> He's wandered off again. I forgot he opened the door on me. Ah, uh, he could be right around the corner. And there's the flesh raptor. Fire. I'm in semi-auto. Fire. Get closer, flesh raptor. Closer. But don't hit me. Damn it! Uh, yeah, I lost all my progress. Damn you, Flesh Raptor. I don't know if I can hit these guys. I mean, even point blank, we're at 9%. That is really bad. How many, how many aims can I get in? 1, 2, 3, 4... Oh, that is so bad. <laughs> that is so bad. And he's going for all my vital bits. So he just hit me in the arm and the leg. Aren't those both protected by my plate armor? Arm and leg. So you're telling me he just rolled back to back 96 to 100s? Or has he got one of those super ridiculous, I hate, I hate, I hate special abilities where you just always take damage no matter what you're in? It just says hits. It says impaled torso. What? God damn it, I hate this stuff. Now he's going to move away. He coming back? If he comes back and hits me, I'm going to lose my progress. And damn, every time he moves away, he gets tinier and tinier. Ah, I lost my aim. Stop aiming. No. I didn't lose it. 69%. That was weird. I wasn't expecting him to run away like that. 
I'm still kind of mystified if did he roll 95 or 96 to 91 uh, 96 to 100 twice or has he got that special you're taking damage I don't care what you're wearing ability Impale always means armor piercing. I only saw the impale message once, I think. Unless it's just automatic with every one of his attacks. There, it just says hit right leg as opposed to impales the torso. But he impaled my torso and my arm took damage. <laughs> Whatever. So, he's going to instantly generate another one of those. Guess he wandered all the way back over. Let's do uh, a grenade. See all the way back into his little room? Great. <laughs> Black Ops Zombie! This got uncomfortable pretty quick. Let's back off a little further in case something else pops up. I was hoping to toss a grenade into that room with the thing. Didn't get the opportunity. Black Ops Zombie is not a big problem, but handling him and the Raptor simultaneously is a bit of a problem. We're going to uh, we're going to wait here for five minutes and hope they shuffle around a little bit. Can't go with a grenade until I've dealt with them, so back to the rifle. Actually, we can ignore them for the moment. Let's check these other doors that I never checked. Magazine entrance. Ooh, well, that might be fun. Let's say no to that. What did I get my actual computer skill to? We never got the hack pro, so I couldn't get it above five. Yeah, we're at five. I have no feeling that I would successfully hack that. So let's uh, let's torch this and see if there's a turret inside. Maybe we can get our uh, rift tech back. So, torch. I gotta recharge it again. Muggles. Hey there, magazine. I'm 27, huh? 